YouTube friends, it is Tracy with CIRV, and today we are going to fly some more. Plus, I have a little project to show you about cleaning your RV air filter and air return. Very, very important, especially in Alabama when you've got 95 degree weather outside. So, Let's get started, and we're going to start with the Fly Lady page. I've already gone and looked at our mission for today. Get you turned around here. I have to admit that I am very, very bad about wanting to do my 15 minutes of flying per day when Brett is home. I, I don't know why that is. I just want to be lazy with him when he's here. <clears throat> and that's very, very bad. I need to stay in my routine. Uh, plus, it's been the holiday weekend, and so I have been a little remiss. But I did do my swish and swap in the bathroom this morning. And the dishes are cleaned out of the sink. And so tonight, I'll begin my shiny sink again. Uh, I've gone over the kitchen counters and given them a quick wipe down. But um, anyway... There's my progress. I still have two loads of clothes to fold, so I'm going to do that after I show you my little mission of cleaning my RV air filter. Okay, so today is Tuesday. It is plan and play day. We are in zone 5, which is the living room. That was just for the first two days of this week because beginning June the 1st, We'll be moving to zone one, which is the entrance, the front porch, and the dining room. So, we've been through a month now. We are starting this cycle over again. Uh, let's see here. Today is Tuesday. This is our last day in the living room. Let's have a detailed vacuuming session. This means to vacuum the room. Make sure to get up against the baseboards and under the furniture. Be careful that you don't hurt yourself trying to move furniture. If it's too difficult to get under the couch or chairs, then just try to get as close to the base of the furniture as you can. Very good advice. Don't go hurting yourself trying to get somewhere and move some furniture that's too heavy that you shouldn't be moving anyway. So take care of yourself. Now, let's get up and we're going to go here and I'm going to show you what I am talking about on my air filter. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand and film with the other. Let's see here. We need something to turn with. First, we need to turn the air conditioner off. You can see Brent's table is not that bad right now. I've still got some stuff. He's still got clothes over there he needs to put away. And I've still got my stuff I need to put under the bed. But uh, it's not too bad right now. We're doing pretty good. We're going to turn off our air conditioner because it is hot outside and it wants to be running. But it does not need to be running in the condition that it is in presently. Do you see that? Do you see all that dark brown black stuff? That is dust, folks. Dust and I guarantee you my filter doesn't look any better. So, we're going to take this down and pull it out. Oops. And if we look right here at this filter, look at that dust. That is terrible. So, I have got me a bucket of soapy water because I don't want that thick dust going down my drain. And I'm going to bring my stuff over here. I'm going to start with the cover and just give it, look at there, you can already see it coming up. Give it a quick little wash. And this is the really easy part. It's a little warm. Let's try that. from the inside too just to be sure we get all the nasty out of there now 
and give it a little rinse. And that already looks a world better. So we're gonna sit it up here and let that dry for a second. Then we're gonna put our nasty, nasty, nasty filter in there. And we're just gonna rub. Get our hands in there, get it dirty. That water has already turned black. We're gonna rub, rub, rub. Seems to be looking pretty good. Let's give it a quick rinse. Okay. Now, I am, you see, I have squished this thing into nothing in my hand. <coughs> and look, it's all clean. Both sides, it can breathe again. But I can't put it back in my air conditioner with it still wet like that. So let's go into the bathroom. And I've swished and swapped in there lately so y'all can see the bathroom. And we'll get you set up. And we're gonna use the hair dryer to dry it out and here we go Ta-da! We have a pretty good looking air filter now. I'm going to take this back and we're going to put it back up and turn our air conditioner back on. So let's see if I can set you up where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Finish drying off my little cover. And this little thing right here, there's actually a hole in my little filter to hold it in there. And then there's some Velcro. I don't know if that came from the factory that way or if the previous owners did that, but there's some little Velcro stickers in there to hang on to the filter. And... We are ready to reinstall this thing. So we're just gonna, ooh, I just saw something up there. We need to wipe the inside of that out too. Got a damp paper towel here. And we're just gonna wipe some of that nastiness out of there. There we go. We'll get the outside of that a better wipe down here in a second. So we are ready to put this part back up. And our little thing and my butter knife, which is acting as a screwdriver at the moment. And ta-da! Now that looks a lot better. All right, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on CRRV.